What's up guys, Derek Johnson of Legendary Leads here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the power dialer. So make sure you have your phone settings configured. If you don't see this icon up here, uh, make sure to go back and watch that setup video. Make sure we have your Twilio credentials input and you've added a phone number to the system. Um, once that's done, you should be good to go and you should be able to follow this demo to set up your own power dialer and queue up a list of leads to call um, back to back and you can add some follow-up actions if you want to. So first we'll just go through the demo and then I'll show you how to set this up. So once I've got my, my leads queued up here, all I have to do is hit let's start and it will start dialing. Um, I just added some, some bank numbers to these contacts because I figured most of those have an IVR and then we can show you this demo. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now I'm connecting to the bank. I can leave notes. Stuff like that. So I just hung up on the bank, but basically I could select a disposition after the call. Um, I'm going to select completed and it will queue up the next lead. Um, there's about a 30 second pause in between dials. Um, if you want, you can click this button and it will start calling that lead immediately. So again, I'm gonna select no answer. It starts queuing up the next lead. And I can hit next lead. Um, you can see here, you can also warm transfer. If your phone can activate your debit card or change your pin, please hang up and dial 1 800 717 4923 if you know the extension of the person. So this is why it gives you that kind of brief window after the call. Um, you could leave notes, you could schedule appointments, um, create a task for a user <clears throat> in your system. Um, we've got these additional info tabs too, which are custom fields. Um, so you could populate data here. This is all your previous communications. So if you wanted to do that, you could do that as well. So as you work through your list and disposition leads, um, basically I set up another um, automation that if I get no response, it will drop a voicemail. So you can see that here. And if they do answer the phone, it won't drop this voicemail because the campaign is set to stop on response. So I'll show you how that works here in a minute. I have the wrong number. Sorry about that. You see that one? They answered the phone so it didn't drop the voicemail. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how to set this up. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to hit pause on these and I'll go into my manual actions and I'll just delete the rest of these out of here. So good work, you have no pending tasks. And now I'll show you how to set this up. So in workflows, what you can do is create a, a workflow called add to power dialer and where those end up are under manual actions. So what I did is I set it up whenever a, a tag is added for the word power dialer, what it's going to do is add this manual call action and that's for adding to the power dialer list. So if you hit your plus button, you can see the option right here for a manual call. That's where I had all those leads queued up. So once that's set up, I also added a voicemail drop. So this is if the lead doesn't answer um, when I'm doing my power dialing. If they do answer, they won't get this voicemail. But if they don't answer, it'll leave them a voicemail that I pre-recorded here. And basically you can do that by selecting voicemail and just upload a file right here. The key to get this to work is you need to go to settings and toggle this stop on response button. So that way, if this connects, if we get an answer to the call, it won't drop this because it's stop on response. So hopefully that makes sense. 
Then when you go to upload your list of leads, you can do something like this. So I've got my list here, phone numbers, and I added a tags column. Um, this will import this as a tag, or you can just add it as the last step when you upload a list. Um, but basically, that's going to add your manual call action. So if you go to contacts here, I'm just going to delete those ones that I brought in. All right, so once those are deleted, um, we should be able to import that list again. So I'm just going to drag and drop it over here. And you can see it'll start mapping all our fields. We can preview that here. And you can see our tags field <clears throat> is adding that power dialer. So it's got our, our data here. We can check samples and hit continue. Once we're ready to go, we can hit update existing fields. And we could add another tag if we wanted to, like for the date or something like that. So we could do like 62921 to be able to track, you know, when this was uploaded. And then we'll hit upload. And that should add our leads um, to the system. So we can check that if we go to contacts and manual actions. Those have repopulated in here as that was our workflow that we set up. So that's the basics of how to set up a power dialer campaign. Um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to support and we can help walk you through it. There are other ways you could set this up without the kind of automated calling. You could also add people to a pipeline. So if you wanted to, I've also queued that up as a workflow. So whenever I add a power dialer tag, they end up on this lead in list and then I could just hit the call from here, basically like this. And then I'm kind of in control, you know, so I could call, drop them to the next stage and then call and prospect through my list that way. But it's kind of however you feel more comfortable, whichever way you prefer. I like both ways, uh, depending on the situation. I do like the pipeline to kind of see, you know, okay, I've already called these people. They're in the second stage now. I can hit them with a the follow up. Okay, now they've replied, so I can drag them over here, drop them, stuff like that. And uh, you can set up some more advanced stuff, but I wanted to show you the basics of how to set up a prospecting list, use the power dialer. Um, so I will show you this workflow. And basically all I did for that was add a action, which creates an opportunity. So based on whenever this tag is added to a contact, it will add them to that pipeline. So create opportunity, default pipeline, lead in stage, mark as status open. So you can see here, it's the add update opportunity. And then you would select the pipeline you want them to go to, which stage in the pipeline, mark them as open and hit save. And that's basically all I did in this one was to add them to the pipeline. So hopefully that's helpful guys. Go ahead and try out a call campaign using workflows um, and just automate your prospecting a little bit. If you need any help, go ahead and reach out to support. With that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next video.